what I guess is all about frequent conversation. If there are two parties and there is not much exchange between the parties, there is usually that tendency for suspicions to build between them because one party doesn't know what the intention of the other party is. So my idea is that let us have frequent conversation between the Ghana Athletic Association and then the Sports Authority and the Ministry on one side so that we can share our thoughts, we can share our pains, we can you know, recognize common challenges and then perhaps adopt common strategies to confront those challenges. And I believe that today's competition is as a result of this type of conversation. You see all the parties are here and therefore uh, we are all witnesses to the failings, the shortcomings and then the, the pros and, and cons of, of the, the meeting. And therefore uh, subsequent ones are bound to be an improvement on what has already taken place. Unless, of course, we decide that we will not learn from history. But I believe that we will let history be our guide so that we can continue to improve upon our subsequent uh, competitions. Now, if we continue this way, I see Ghana climbing to the top in terms of athletics in Africa. Uh, we've done it before and we are capable of doing it again. Uh, perhaps we can even do it better. All we need to do is to continue uh, to engage one another so that we can identify the common challenges and then address those, those issues. Once we do that, the sky should be the limit for Ghana athletics. So I am fully committed to this effort and I believe that the uh, Sports Authority and the Ministry of Youth and Sports and the Ghana Athletics Association are committed to the full development of athletics in Ghana. And finally, with viewers watching, some associations also be listening. Is it possible Definitely, definitely. If I have had a lot more interaction with some of the other federations than even with the athletics. But then the policy is an open door one to all federations, let us engage one another uh, frequently, let us do things early, let's not wait until the, on the nick of time, then we present our budgets. Usually it comes as a surprise and uh, sometimes government machinery, the bureaucracy works in a certain fashion that does not support late submission of requests, especially when it comes to uh, budget. So I will uh, encourage the federations to partner with the ministry and the sports authority so that together we can seek for sponsorship from both private and uh, public sources. Thank you. Thank you.